Hi, Els here, and we're back to complete the direct method using the dual rate method. I'm going to do this one a lot faster. Consider pausing the video and doing the work on your own and then seeing if your answer matches mine. I'm going to start with human resources again first, but I could flip it around this time. It actually makes no difference when you're using the direct method. Total fixed costs for human resources, 210,800. And I'm going to use the fixed driver, so I'm going to use 12 and 26. I need a total, 12, 26, total is 38. That's the fixed driver. Fixed allocated, 12 divided by 38 multiplied by 210,800. 66,568, same again, 144,232. Quick check to make sure the total equals 210,800. It's perfect, move on. IT fixed, back to the question. And I need the fixed driver, and that is 16 and 32. 185,000, fixed driver, 16, 32, total 48. Fixed allocated, 16 divided by 48 multiplied by 185,000, 61,667, 123,333, total is 185,000, perfect. I can now calculate the total, 66,568, 61,667 is equal to 128,235. 144,232, 123,333 is equal to 267,565. Add those two together to make sure it all equals 395,800. If I add it down, it would equal the same thing. Perfect. Now, last step. I've got to add in the direct fixed costs from each of the operating departments. 355,100. 676, 200, 355, 100, and 676, 200. Add into the total fixed allocated, and we're going to get the total fixed costs. 483, 335, and 943, 765. Let's add those two together. We get 1,427,100. Let's see if that's correct. If we add all the fixed costs together, we got 1,427,100. Perfect. The problem is we're still missing one important piece of information. What we really want is the total costs that the operating departments have to cover with regards to pricing their products or services. That means we've got to add two things together, the total variable costs and the total fixed costs. In that case, we get the total cost per operating department. For residential, we get 868,927. For commercial, we get 1,371,073. If we now add those amounts together, we get 2,240,000. Is that correct? Let's jump back to the question. That should be the total of all of the direct costs for all four departments. And 2,240,000 is exactly correct. We have appropriately used the dual method in order to allocate support department costs, also called period costs, or service department costs, over to the operating departments. If you look back at the single rate method, you'll see that we still allocated the same total amount from the service departments to the operating departments. In fact, if you look back at the single rate method, you'll see that we've done everything the same. We have simply had to do it twice, once for the variable costs and once for the fixed costs. The dual rate method does exactly the same thing as the single rate method. It allocates the service department costs to the operating departments. It simply does it after the separation of costs into their variable and fixed categories. I'm not going to go through the pros and cons of the direct method. These pros and cons have not changed just because we subdivided the costs into the two different categories. To get a good handle of the pros and cons, which is what you use with your professional judgment in order to actually choose methods, you're going to have to check out my other video on the single rate method. Thank you for watching this video.
In the next video, I'll be exploring the step-down method using the dual rates.